Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking time hey guys, it's Sharika, and welcome back to my channel. Before we get into today's vlog, I would like to give a special shout out to Nadula Hair for sponsoring this video. how the lace looks on the unit this is a 13 by 4 lace the unit is pre-plucked for you so this is a low maintenance unit but the lace is really soft so it's easy to melt right into the skin and this is the inside of the unit so it looks like we'll be able to get some deep parting here it has the three combs one on each side and then one comb in the back along with your adjustable straps and gonna go ahead and dye this unit i like to use the clairol texture and tone in the color silk and black So this is how the hair looks. It's so pretty. It's really, really pretty. Now it still has that wet look. It's not as wet as it looks because what I use is these two together. So this is the Cantu Moisturize and Curl Activating Cream. And then I pair it with the Comeback Curl. This is how it looks. So I like to pair these two together but because it just gives it that wet look without it being wet. I really like this a lot. Look how pretty these curls are. So cute. This is the part. Really, really pretty. I love it. And this is how it looks in the back. So you guys can see the curls. So pretty and this is where it falls on me so, yeah. I really really like this a lot now without the product on it it gets big like the hair gets really big so I did have to like I said I just I wet it first and then I put the product on it and let it dry down and this is what you have so love this is so pretty oh my gosh so so cute <laughs> so i'll have all the information along with the discount code in the description box below oh, so today is monday by the way <laughs> hey i have a few errands that i need to run or that i want to run um i want to try to go look for some new bedding so i'm going to go to a few different stores i'm going to take you guys with me of course um but really quick before we go i finally tried that look remember i told you guys a while ago that i wanted to try the oversized suit look 
So I finally did it. We went out to dinner Saturday and I did it with the oversized black vest and then I have these black um, DKNY trousers. They were really cute. It looked really, really good together. So I'll just show y'all. I'll pop it in right here. Today is Saturday. I just got back in. We went to dinner. I wanted to start the vlog before I left, but we were rushing out and then y'all already know every time we go on a date, I never vlog there, but I did want to start a vlog earlier because I wanted to show y'all what I was wearing. So I'm back now. Oh, my camera's getting ready to die. Let me change my battery. Okay, so this is what I wore to dinner. It's really cute. I hope y'all can see it good because it was really cute. So I finally wore my Zara earrings. They're so cute. And then I got this oversized blazer. I'm wearing my little lace bralette from Forever 21. This blazer is from H&M. I got it a while ago. And then these little trousers that I'm wearing, these are some thrifted DKNY trousers. So, and this is actually my first time wearing these. They're really cute. And then I wore these shoes right here. It looked really cute. Let me show y'all. And these shoes were so comfortable. So because of the silver in the front, I just, hold on. Let me show y'all what I did. I just pulled the pants down so they can fall over the silver. And then I carried my Chanel vanity. Let me go grab it so y'all can see it. So this was the full look with the earrings and the bun. And it worked out really nicely. This is so cute. I love this look. So cute. But yeah, the look was really, really cute. I've been looking at that look for a while. I have this picture right here saved on my Pinterest. I just always thought that that looked so good together. So I finally did it. You can wear it with tennis shoes too. I've seen a lot of the girls wear it with tennis shoes on Pinterest, but I wanted to do mine with heels. But I really liked the way that it turned out. So I'm happy that I finally did it because <laughs> I've been telling y'all for a while. I don't know if y'all remember last year when I had, um, I think it was last year around Christmas time, I had a sponsorship with Nasty Gal and I bought like the vest and the pants, but it didn't work out because the sizing wasn't good. Um, so I've been wanting to do it for a while and it turned out good. So like I said, we're getting ready to head to a few places because I am looking for some nice bedding. I might go to Restoration Hardware and see what they have. Um, just because I want something new. Y'all know I like to change my stuff up. So I wanna find some pretty bedding. All right, these are the shades that I went with. These shades are from Free People. This hair is so pretty. I need to clean these. All right. So yeah. Right, We're at Home Goods. I forgot to put makeup on my lace, so ignore that okay Brian <laughs> it's uh five days I just ran over Ryan toe I'm sorry <laughs> it was buffy and all it made the noise like doo doo my bad bro oh see I need something like this I like this but I don't like this little square I look at this one every time I come in here mm -hmm. I just don't like that little square. But I want it to kind of match my um, my pillows that I already have on my bed. Let me show y'all the one I'm talking about. See, this one right here. Something that'll add a little warmth to my room. But I don't want it to be um, too dark. Oh, that one's kind of cute. This is but it's like a gray. 
One thing I don't like about buying comforters and stuff from Home Goods sometimes they'll be opened and like it might have a stain or something on it and they bring it back and just put it right back on the aisle. And then the next person that get it got to deal with the same thing. I don't like that. Because I get a whole attitude. Yeah. I'm trying to think where that one match my pillows. It's pretty. See if I would have gotten, I would have got you a spray paint. Now. <laughs> this is how it looks. Okay, I see that. This is cute. It's five seventy. I want another lamp too. He have a. It's one the stand up light. Mm -hmm. Is that what's called? What you mean, like a stand up, like a floor lamp? That floor lamp. Mm -hmm. That hangover, but the shape is like, 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 Huh? Yeah, I see it. So you just want to Yeah, if that if I could find two more I'll get them, but I'm gonna get these while I while I can. Yeah, That's what Ryan like, yeah. I like these. Ones over there, that the same. That green chair is everything. So you like a heather gray? is the decor. I don't know what this is, but I like the texture. It's pretty cool. <laughs> These are more like brown. They look kind of gray on camera, but they are so cute. Sit down in it. <laughs> are they comfortable? They stiff. <laughs> <laughs> that was more comfortable. Hey, I'm we're on the hunt. Ryan lost his glasses at home goods. <laughs> Hopefully nobody didn't try to steal them. Somebody tried to steal them, we're going. Y'all gonna have to see the do ball come out of me. No. <laughs> Did it go under the top of the couch? Yes. Huh? Oh, there they are. Yeah, she hit that thing. I said, I'm going to get a fetish for her. <laughs> Found them. All right, y'all. So we're going to have a latte and our H. Uh -oh. It'll be my first time. Great, right, are you? Yeah. Well, this was a latte. It's pretty good. <laughs> I would definitely get this again. Now, we're having a hot latte. y'all i'm sweating a little bit i'm back so i got two packages from amazon the first package 
I saw this on TikTok, but the girl actually made it herself. And I thought it was the coolest thing, so I went looking for something like that. And I found this one. Hers looked a lot bigger than this one. But again, she made it herself. So I went on... Uh, I went <laughs> on Amazon and found this. Now, y'all are going to think it's pretty weird at first. So, this is how it looks, right? And she made hers. Hers had really big, luscious lips. And see the inside? because it's actually an incense. So the incense burns in the inside and then the smoke comes from out of the mouth. It's the coolest thing. Hers look really cool, like I said, because it was just like some luscious lips. So, I don't know. It doesn't have any instructions on here. And I guess if you're an incense burner, then you would know how to do this. I'm not an incense burner, but it's different ones. Like, can you see that? They're not all together. So it's about maybe like eight of them. But it also has this little thing right here because you could just stand it up. I did see that on Amazon. So you could just stand it up in here like this if you wanted to. Can y'all see that? You could just stand it up and hold the, put the incense in the bottom and let it burn like that. But we're not gonna do that because we're extra. We're extra. Ryan, can you bring me a, a lighter? So let's see. If this works, and I did buy those chairs from Home Goods, but I have to see if they work. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all know he is. Okay. So I'm gonna light this. I don't see how this would give a lot of smoke. Let me see. I'm gonna do both ends. Let's see if that works. Cause it has to really smoke in order for it to come out of the mouth. Right, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, okay. I see it. Maybe not the light. Yeah, I see it. It's really cool. But I want it to really, really, like, really smoke. Uh, maybe I should try, maybe I should try sitting it on here. Turn the light back on. Okay, I'm gonna try sitting it on this. See if that makes a difference. All right, so. Show y'all. So I have it in here like this. Why y'all so quiet? Okay. It smells good. I don't see nothing. Girl, the smoke out the mouth is so, it's just a little bit. But I've seen like some smaller incense. 
like the little small ones, I think those will work better in something like this. So I'm gonna try that instead before taking this back. Cause I thought this was the coolest thing ever. So I grabbed that and then y'all know well some of y'all might not know but i love love is blind married at first sight i love all the things so if y'all follow love is blind y'all know that they have these gold wine glasses now the last season that i watched they just looked okay. They really wasn't doing it for me. I'm just like, these glad like why they keep using these same gold wine glasses? Like it's not giving. But the season that's loaded on Netflix now, they just did something for me. Like I think they upgraded them or something. So I'm like, let me go on Amazon and look up these glasses. And when you look the glasses up, it says gold wine glasses from Love Is Blind. It's the funniest thing. So. I grabbed some and I told Tony if they look too yellow, which they do kind of look yellow. If I didn't like them, I'm taking them back. So this is what they look like. Now, I really like theirs because, well, they don't really look as yellow as they look with the paper on it. They're pretty, but the ones on the show, they always had something really, really cold, so the glass was sweating, and it just looked really good. Like, I'm just like, I need those glasses. So, I bought some. And this is how they look. I actually really like these. What is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's just like a little, a little ice mold. Like a little... Like a little ice mold beanie. Y'all probably can't really see it because of the light. But this is cool. I, I won't be making a beanie ice mold. but So it comes in a set of two. The quality seems really nice. Really cute. What is this? Oh, this is um one of those little corks that you put inside your wine. Is that what this is? Yeah. Like you put this down in your wine and pour this way and pour. I'm not using this. So yeah. These are cute, so I'm happy with my Amazon purchases. I just have to find a different um, incense that I can put in this so I can get all the vibes, but I think it'll be cute. I think I have seen like some really small ones. Y'all know what I'm talking about? If y'all burn incense, y'all let me know what I can use that will get really smoky. It's just not um, smoking enough for this. Okay, I'll see. This look a little bit better. Okay, I'll see it. This is so cool, but like I said, it needs to really, really smoke. Like, once I find the perfect one, it's, it's gonna look really good. Really cool. So yeah, that is it. Love my glasses. Such a vibe, right? Love is blind. <laughs> okay, y'all. I did find a comforter. So this is the color. Y'all probably can't see it, but it's like a champagne. Can y'all see this? <laughs> Let me turn off this light. Let's see if y'all could. Y'all see that? Let me go get my 
Well, because I have one of these pillows on my bed, the same one that I have in my office. So, it's pretty close, but I just want something that I could like, um, I like to bring the comforter like in the middle of the bed and then like from the middle down. So that's what I'm going to do with this. Not just draping it over the bottom, but like I said, I like to have it. Y'all seen how I make up my bed before. I have it pulled up to the middle and then covering the entire bottom. So, and I needed something different. I wish I could have went a little darker, but I didn't. I wanted it to match my pillows that I have on my bed already. Let me go grab my other one so I can show y'all. Okay, so here's the pillow. You guys have seen this pillow before. It's so pretty. This color in the back. And I would say it's a good match. Um, I think it'll work out. So when I make my bed up, I'll show you guys. But for now, I need to clean this stuff up. I put the wine glasses in the freezer because Tony said that he think the wine glasses are too shiny. And I was thinking that too. But like I said, when I watch the show, their glass is always sweating because it's always something cold in the glass. They have the stemless wine glasses too. But those are on the more brassier side. I don't really care for those. Um, I mean, they don't look bad. They're cute still, but um, the wine glasses just really caught my eye this season. So, I got them in the freezer, and we'll see how they look once they're, like, chilled. And, of course, I'll share it with my besties. All right, y'all. So, this is how it looks. Let me turn on my light. All right, so this is how it looks. It look really good. Y'all know I always change out. Well, y'all probably don't know because I don't bring y'all in here that much. But I always change out my decor on my tables. So I just threw that together just now. It had nothing on it because I wanted to switch some stuff out. I was thinking about getting some fresh flowers for that side. But yeah, it looks really good with the pillows. So yeah, I like it. I like the way it turned out. Really pretty. is what I was talking about. We have sweet orange, eucalyptus, lavender, and jasmine. Let's see which one I like. The Uber pulling up on call. Tell me as you trying to fall through. I'ma leave it up to you. What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you. Know we all for do what you're doing right now. Right now. Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking. Met Sprouts. Getting ready to grab some groceries. But I gotta trip y'all out real quick. So y'all remember the chairs that i picked up from home goods i know i didn't show y'all but they didn't work out in the space so i ended up taking them back so girl i goes to the register and y'all know i've been shopping at home goods for years okay a long time so i kind of know you know the, the return policies and things like that what you can and what you can't do and also i'm pretty familiar with some of the workers if they've been working there for a while i'm pretty like i see the same workers all the time so girl i bring the two chairs in and i sit them you know by the register up front and i tell the guy i'm returning these chairs but i'm gonna stand in line because it was a line so when it was my turn you know and he's doing his regular you know how you doing whatever whatever so I asked him, I said, I could get cash back, right? Because I did pay with a debit card. So he was like, <laughs> I don't think so. Over $140, I don't think so. So I said, well, I think so. Because I didn't like the way he said that. So I'm like, well, I think so. I said, because it was paid with a debit card. So he was like, no, I don't think so. Maybe $15, $20 cash back, but $140, I've never seen that before. 
And I said, well, um, I said, I've done it before, so I think you can do it. So he said, well, I've only worked here since the store was open. And I said, well, ask a manager. So he said, yeah, I'll ask a manager. So he pulls out the walkie. And as he's talking to the supervisor, she's walking up there. So he says, um, can we do a cash return, like a $140 purchase? So she said, well, is it within the 30 days? So he said, yes. She said, did she pay with the debit card? But she behind me. So he's like, yes. Then he was like, she was like, okay, well, yeah, we could do it. He ain't like that. So he's talking about, well, I learned something new today. So then he said, and you know, he kind of laugh, laughed it off, but you could tell he was pissed. By this time, he's putting laying my receipts down on the counter instead of handing it to me, just being real rude. So then he said, um, what did you learn today? He didn't want me to say what I wanted to say, okay? But I said, ask for a manager the next time I have a return. So I don't have to deal with you. He put the cash on the counter and everything. He did not like that. Now, I've dealt with that dude before, and he's never, like, put cash on the counter or anything like that. He just didn't like that I was right and he was wrong. That's the bottom line. But give me my money. Just picked the money up off the counter and walked out. I kind of chuckled a little bit and walked out like because I'm not going it's early in the morning it's 10 42 I just finished working out get my day started and you mad because you had to give me my money back that's so sad sometimes I might let them just you know refund the money on the debit card but sometimes I don't want to do that so and today I ain't want to do it so I, I wanted cash so I got my cash. But anyway, I'm going in the store. I just wanted to tell y'all that. <laughs> that little story real quick. Because he tried it. And he mad at me. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I am Sharika B. And TikTok, Sharika B too. And I'll see you guys on the next one.